I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher, and this is the Doctor's Guide Podcast, raw and unfiltered. I bring to you all these distinctions and insights and possibilities and opportunities for you to optimize your health. But here's the thing. We're not selling you a product. We're not hyper-promoting a person because there's many other people already doing that. What we're doing here is sharing with you the process by which you can make better decisions for yourself to optimize your health. And what do I really mean by that? Well, the challenge that we have today is there's so much information out there, a lot of it very, very valuable, some of it not, of course. I mean, that's just the, the world that we live in. But how do you differentiate, number one, if it's if it's the right product, but more importantly, if it's going to work for you? And the truth is, is that many products out there might work for the next person, but absolutely do nothing for you. And now you're spending all this money, potentially even harming your body by doing the wrong thing. And so the solution out there is another solution that I'm actually working on at this big mission of mine is delivering the most complete diagnostic uh, system out there that is done non-invasively to absolutely help you. But here's the thing, you know, you don't have access to that right now. And so what can you do instead is understanding the process by which you can make a better decision for yourself. And that's what this is all about. And so it's all about democratizing the access to all the health solutions out there so that everybody has an easy access to any affordable process by which they can have better health. Because ultimately, having better health is really a right of yours, and you deserve that as well. So how do we do that here today? Basically, it's through role play. So one of my guests will present with a particular problem, and the other will be the guide towards some form of resolution. We're only doing that for about six minutes, but you'd be surprised how much resolution you can get. But the most important part is that you can actually relate to the specific problem that's being presented and know that you're not alone with that particular problem, but also know that there is a solution out there and so that that's possible for you. And that's one of the things that motivates us when we know that we're going to get a good result at the end of the day. And so what I like to do is into have my guests introduce themselves and then uh, we'll do the six or eight minute role play, depending what that works out to be. Last time was a little longer. And then what we'll do is we'll unpack that so that you get some very specific uh, insights, distinctions, and also action steps that you can take for yourself. So first of all, I want to introduce uh, or in, uh, welcome Dr. Ben Zuniga. Uh, introduce yourself briefly. We'll go with Dr. Matt Ormond, and then we'll step into the whole role play. Dr. Ben. Great. Thank you, Dr. Rademacher. My name is Dr. Benjamin Zuniga. I am an oral and maxillofacial surgeon out of Phoenix, Arizona, a father and a husband. Um, and I uh, love taking care of my patients. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to provide them with an education and an environment that helps them to make decisions uh, regarding their oral health. So it is my pleasure to be here with you guys today. Uh, thank you for having me on. And I appreciate you and I appreciate the quality of care that you deliver to all your patients. It's remarkable as a surgeon. You know, surgeons are a very, very special breed, uh, but you are even more exceptional because of the kind of doctor that you are. So thank you for helping your patients. And another incredibly unique and beautiful individual is Dr. Matt Ormond. Um, introduce yourself and then we'll get started. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dr. Matt Ormond. I'm a chiropractor, kinesiologist, acupuncturist, and I really find myself in this space of holistic health and longevity and wellness. Uh, I consider myself, I look at the nervous system as a as a electrical system, and I consider myself a glorified electrician. And I help people find ways, and oftentimes it's outside the box ways, uh, to improve their health, reduce pain, and we're building principles towards living a longer, better life. And just real quickly, I've had three of my uh, teenage children have wisdom teeth removed by Dr. Ben, and, uh, and I can attest to his care and his professionalism. And there's, you know, it's a, it can be a, a nervous scene. Uh, anxiety-ridden type surgery for these younger kids. And uh, and he was so good. And his staff and his team were just, the, the care was was beyond reproach. It was fantastic. So I thank you again. Thank you. Well, what a wonderful recommendation, by the way. And absolutely true. So uh, Dr. Matt, you've got a problem. I do. So uh, I'm a you know, practicing chiropractor and I have a patient that has recurrent migraines. 
And, uh, and so I've worked through structural, we've gone through the electrical systems, we've looked at stress, we've looked through blood work and nutrition, and there's still a reoccurrence. And what came out last visit was uh, she had mentioned jaw pain and mentioned clicking mm. and misalignment and articulation. And it was, it was just something I had not considered yet. Um, Dr. Penn, what would you, how, as a oral facial maxillary uh, surgeon, what would you uh, look at and how would you assess that and connect TMJ into like migraines, headaches, and even to neck pain? Yes, absolutely. So when I, when I see a patient for the first time and they come presenting with jaw pain and headache, um, perhaps even some neck pain, uh, the, the first thing that I want to do is, is understand how long they've been dealing with this pain, if there are any triggers or anything that kind of starts the pain, uh, whether it follows any typical pattern during the day, and what helps it to feel better if there's anything that helps it to feel better. When it comes to joint pain specifically, uh, some, of the, some of the pain can be fairly easily addressed uh, using non-surgical approach to helping someone kind of rehabilitate the joint. Uh, and some is more serious and requires more therapies and help from other people. And so I have a network of people who I work with as well in those situations when jaw pain is more serious and I need um, multiple professionals to help me address an issue. Um, so uh, that's where I would kind of start. I would, I would start with getting the history, uh, trying to understand the length and duration of the pain, understand where, if there is a, uh, an issue that we can identify where it starts, and then try to find out what makes it feel better as well. Thank you. And, and I can offer some history because I've, I've uh, been pretty thorough with her. Uh, they, she's done MRIs or fMRIs and doesn't have, there's nothing in the brain from a neural uh, the neurologist's perspective, uh, we've done a fair amount of soft tissue work. And in that soft tissue work, we found some relief, but no resolution. The migraines come up, it's it's a weekly occurrence. And when a migraine happens, it'll be a, a two or three day window where it's, it's either migraine in the acute phase or like a, a pre or post hangover type phase of that migraine. Um, the, the jaw pain was just, that was a re revelation that came out just in this last visit. Um, and so the frequency and duration is that of it's weekly. And when the migraine is on, it's, it's a three day window that's there. Um, and so, and I, I've not considered, uh, that the, from your perspective of, of what else could be done as far as intervention, is there something yeah. that you would recommend that she does? Absolutely. So when I, when I perform a basic exam, I'll look at the muscles and I'll look at the joints and that'll help me to kind of make some recommendations. Uh, the jaw is a really unique joint because it is two joints really linked together uh, by the mandible, by the lower jaw. And when we're moving that joint, uh, if we are clenching really tight or if we're opening way too wide, it can cause stress and strain to that joint. And if we're doing that frequently, then it can really cause some injury to the disc that ride, that, that joint rides on and that keeps the, the joint uh, moving smoothly. It can also create inflammation within the joint that continues to degrade the disc and the joint space. The other thing that I really think might be causing issues for your patient is the muscles with and around the joint. So those muscles, they can become quite tense and then they can feed off of the pain that the joint itself causes. So if we have, for instance, pain early in the morning and the patient, as they get their, their jaw moving, it starts to feel a little bit better, then we can probably look at that as a indicator that they're probably clenching and grinding in the, at night. And some of the things that I recommend for these patients to see if we see some improvement are relaxation techniques, muscle massage, really important, warm compresses, uh, warm compresses on both sides of the face, really important. There's a muscle up on the, on the side of the head and that muscle kind of fans out that's called the temporalis. Another muscle right here on the side of the face called the masseter is a pound for pound, one of the strongest muscles in your body. 
that masseter can get very tense and cause a lot of a lot of pain if we don't address that. So I have my patients really focus on massaging these muscles and seeing if that helps alleviate some of that pain. I also will take a look at the backs, the back of their neck, uh, and see if I can find any muscle tension from this this longer muscle here on the side of the neck called the sternocleidomastoid, or from the trapezius on the back of the neck. And that oftentimes can lead to muscle pain and headaches like you've been describing. When, when these muscles get really inflamed, they can cause a condition called myofascial pain disorder. And that's when you have basically a massive headache and it kind of spreads to other parts of the face and to the head and uh, can, can create severe debilitating pain really. And that takes a, a lot a lot more focus and some more time to address. Uh, it's a little bit slower, uh, but usually it begins with the same things, a softer diet, massage, warm compresses, techniques to improve relaxation, uh, help somebody to get from that really tense uh, mode into a, a less anxiety ridden uh, or tense mode and try to get them into a more relaxed state. Those things are really some of the bigger helpers. If I don't see improvement with that, then we, we start to look at medication, you know, uh, to help them with muscle relaxation. And we can move on to injections as well, which they're pretty straightforward. It sounds a little intimidating but we can do injections in the muscles too to help the muscles relax so that they're not tense all the time. And some of these things are subconscious. Patients don't really recognize or realize that they're doing them. So these are some techniques that I will use uh, as needed to help patients overcome some of those joint pain. Wow, that's incredibly helpful. Would you recommend any uh, devices like a, you know, a sleep aid or you know, an oral type bite guard. Yes, and and that is, that's a good point. The there are what people what what I call a night guard. There are these sleep kind of uh, retainer type devices that go on top of your teeth. They're made out of hard plastic, hard acrylic, and they guide the teeth into the right motion and into the right bite and you can wear it at night or during the day if you find that you're tense and, and clenching a lot. But one of the things that that device does is it unloads the joint. So instead of putting pressure on your joint, you're putting pressure on that bite guard. And it, it the custom made hard acrylic night guard is much better than a night guard that you'll find in the store because those usually end up being insufficient. They're usually kind of soft. And instead of improving the situation, instead of improving the pain in the joints, they can actually make things worse because people tend to chew them. And uh, even, even in their sleep, they tend to chew the softer night guard and it actually ends up doing more injury than, than good. But a, a well-made custom night guard can really do wonders for somebody who's clenching and grinding, especially at night. Awesome. I think that's a wrap, guys. Uh, that was truly amazing. I've learned uh, so much uh, about that. So first of all, I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Orman, uh, what was that all about for you? What context? What's your context here? So good. This is this is a patient of mine. So it's it's so good to have a you know your professional opinion, and uh, and I feel like I can offer her additional support and and have really an you know additional you know people to refer to like yourself. And what comes present for me is, you know, what chiropractors in my profession, what chiropractors don't know and, uh, and how our professions can really work together uh, with these difficult cases. You mentioned, you know, with, uh, when the fascia gets involved and there's a fasciitis and, and, uh, and some of the other uh, myalgias that are present, you know, there's a, there's a potential of really doing some great work together. So uh, that's what's yes. present for me. Dr. Ben, what was present for you? So I work with quite a few people who have joint pain. And I, I think we saw there was a, 
a huge increase in stress. Uh, the last several years with uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and people, there was economic worries and all, always, I think those kinds of things kind of lead people to really strain and have um, muscle and joint issues. I, I see an, an increase in joint pain when those issues arise. And there are some things that I feel like I can really help my, my best tool for these patients is to be able to give them one peace of mind and to help them know that they can be empowered to improve their situation. And if I can't myself help get them out of this situation, I do refer to other professionals like Matt and uh, like other physical therapists and uh, joint specialists who can help me navigate those situations. But yeah, I think that stress is a part of our, most of our everyday lives and being able to um, manage it productively is really an, of an important part of our health. And so I that's what that means for me. No, I, I love this. This is great, great insights, new insights for me as well, and definitely for the listeners. And what's remarkable about all of this, <clears throat> and I did say a little bit of tongue in cheek earlier on about this in a complete diagnostic system, which by the way, you know, will be available to most people or anybody in, in the future. But in the meantime, this podcast wow. is super revealing. And I think the dog agrees there. Uh, this uh, podcast is, is super revealing as to what it is that you must do now. And that's why I brought it up, where you can find out some of the solutions by just looking at the title of the podcast and see if this relates to you. Because one thing I do know is that we take a lot of this for granted and we've got this headache, we've got this, we've got that, and we kind of ignore it and we ignore the stress. And we, but the problem is, is that, you know, we have the blueprint of a perfectly functioning body. And we also have the blueprint of how the body is functioning right now. And unless we start delving into that data, that information bank that's within us, then we're not going to resolve things and ultimately can lead to, to chronic ailments, which is exactly what we don't want to have. Because the last time I checked, you know, with the 70, you know, trillion cells that we have, they're all interconnected. They're all communicating with each other. And when you find an imbalance in one place, you're definitely going to find an imbalance somewhere else. And it's remarkable when I've worked with body workers and, you know, as a conventionally trained doctor, you know, we think linearly, we think logical, we think systems. And when he's working on my, um, my, my cranial fascia, so those are the layers you know, just below the skin, overlying the muscles and working on my, my head area, only to find that I got relief in my ankle. I start laughing because how's that even possible? You know, Matt obviously understands that, uh, but most people don't. And so since everything is so interrelated, um, you know, having that unified approach, you know, working together, collaborating together, talking to our colleagues out there and says, and, and I commend you, uh, Dr. Zuniga, for doing this. And I do the same thing. When I don't know something, I, I don't just say, well, you know, that's it. You're just going to have to deal with it. No, let's find someone who's got the solution. And that's exactly what you guys do. And again, that's also my mission to teach your colleagues out there to do things differently and start working together. So um, I'd like to give both you guys uh, another opportunity to share whatever it is that's on your heart, on your mind, as it relates to this topic, uh, starting with you, Matt. Any, anything you want to add? Yeah, I think that you're, uh, you know, calling our attention to the 70 trillion cells that are in the body and how they are all interconnected. You know, I had a, uh, we had our roof repaired uh, this this summer and uh, we had a, actually there's there's a big store that storm that came through Arizona and blew off a tile off the edge of our roof. And so I, I told him like, hey, we had a tile that come off, came off and he said this, he said, it's never just a tile. And I thought it was an interesting thing. And as he, you know, went up on our roof and looked, sure enough, he found other things that were, weren't were just a tile. There were areas where water was pooling. There were areas of wear and tear. And so I've carried that analogy forward. It's never just a tile. It's never just a migraine. It's never just a, it's all indicative of the, the system. Our bodies do a miraculous job at maintaining homeostasis. And when something dips out of homeostasis, the body's working even harder to bring that back up and symptoms will be the guide. And so learning how to navigate these symptoms and learning you know, from the listener's perspective, uh, how to interpret and how to be proactive 
with these symptoms uh, and bringing it back to resolution. Because what our body does best is it heals, it repairs, but it's never just a tile, is what I found. I love that. Dr. Ben. Yes, I as I as you were speaking as well, it came to mind that some people do feel anxious about just the thought of going to a doctor or a surgeon or a healthcare provider for an issue. Just their imagination can sometimes go wild with what they might find or what they might have to do if they go. But I think it can be very comforting to know that the earlier that we address an issue, the less likely it is to become uh, that much bigger of an issue in the future. And so, and, and specifically with some of these um, stress-related issues, the patients I treat who we find these issues early on, they find resolution on average much quicker than the patients who have been dealing with chronic issues for a long time and have just been too afraid to come in and to have things taken care of. And as you and Matt have mentioned, uh, Dr. Orman have mentioned, there's we have a, a holistic reason why we may have issues in one part of our body versus another. And being able to be a whole person requires that we, um, that we take good care of ourselves and that we don't, or that we're, we don't chicken out of, you know, getting things taken care of. And we should be able to do that with people we trust and trust that they're making good recommendations for us and that uh, we can feel confident in their care. And so I, I totally agree. I think that um, that holistic approach is very important when it comes to our healthcare. And if we take care of things earlier on, then we can have a better time of recovery and healing in the long term. Yeah, really well said, uh, Dr. Zuniga. And and the reality in all of this is that a lot of the fear is simply be based on lack of information, lack of knowledge, um, and also lack of responsibility. And the way you know healthcare works today, you kind of advocate the responsibility and decision making to somebody else who's got all the information, except for they don't have all your information. And so the truth is, and and this is part of my mission besides. You know, helping you get access to those diagnostic tools, but helping you understand that it's actually your responsibility, you know, to start making the smart choices. And that's why we have this podcast to really illustrate that there is a possibility in resolution in all things, pretty much in all things. Whilst many people might not think that's the case. The truth is, is that only 1.5% of all diseases are strictly genetic and everything is a, a myriad of all different elements that are contributing to the overall problem. And same thing with Alzheimer's. And, um, you know, there's, uh, I forget his name, but there's one guy that's talked about Alzheimer's at great length and identified 36 elements that's the cause of it. And he claims that basically if you reach it early enough, treat it early enough, it's all reversible. So cognitive decline, like most other things within us, including cancers, are reversible because, as Dr. Orman is saying, you, know, you got to give your body a chance to heal itself. The body does have all these restorative mechanisms in place, but when they do get overwhelmed, they're just not going to work. But ultimately, it's up to you to understand that structural part in this in this example is a major component to all things dealing with health, and that's something that that can always be uh, uh, addressed. Well, I want to thank you both. This is very very enlightening. Uh, learned a whole bunch of new things today. Um, Dr. Zuniga, how do people get a hold of you? And final comments, final words from you. Thank you. Yes. So you can find me uh, at my website, copperbasinoms.com. You'll find my contact information there. I'm really excited. We're going to have some more uh, social media content coming up soon. We're still building those channels. So that's all to come. Uh, but I'm excited to, to be able to share that with, with anybody who's interested. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. It was a pleasure and a privilege. That honor is mine. Thank you. Dr. Matt. Thank you. Uh, you can find me on the social medias. Um, uh, Facebook, it's Matthew Ormond. Uh, Instagram is Kinesiology Doc. My email is dr.matthew.ormond at gmail.com. And uh, I look forward to doing more work uh, collaborating with both of you. This has been a, pri a privilege and what an amazing platform.
to share these things. Thank you, Dr. Barr. Yeah, thank you for that. And, and what makes it most amazing is you guys, the, the wealth and breadth of insights and wisdom and magic that you can bring uh, to everyone. And I invite all the listeners just to reach out to, to Dr. Orman, Dr. Zuniga. I, I know they're very uh, open to helping you figuring things out, even though they don't become your own personal physician, only because they may be in a different state. But regardless, uh, these are the individuals that I like to highlight in my podcast because their heart is in the right place. They really want to make a difference. They want to have a, a stress-free world. I think that's how you put it, Dr. Orman, you know, curing stress for everyone, you know, whatever that is. The podcast is here to deliver to you the insights and the action steps and the process by which you can make better decisions. But ultimately, it's up to you. You know, a disease is a choice that triggers a lot of people. But the truth is, is that the information is out there. The diagnostics are out there, mainly driven by you and uh, the finding the right people that can support you and guide you towards a beautiful resolution so that you have the quality of life and longevity that you desire. So thank you both once again. And I am Dr. Bart Rademacher. This is the Doctor's Guy Raw and Filtered, and we will be back.